Hello and welcome to Phaser Games. My name is Aeroshot and you're with me today on C-Town. We're playing a Modern Warfare 3 free-for-all and I think this is a pretty nice game right here. Uh, using the MP5, um, one of my favorite weapons in this game. You know, it's not too overpowered and it, it's kind of cool, unique in its own aspect and yeah, you guys can enjoy the video. I'm not going to be talking about the gameplay too much because guess what? As you can probably surmise by the title of this video, I have a topic and the topic is... Well, it's living right now, living right now in the present, 2012, 2012 living, and how lucky we are to just, like, be in this era. So, uh, why did I think of this? Well, I was, like, uh, watching TV or something, and I, I don't know, it was, like, National Geographic or some weird history channel show, and they were showing, like, the lives of people who lived back in, like, the 1600s or 1800s, whatever, I'm, I'm talking, like, colonial america and stuff like that and you know people during that era oh my god the weirdest thing about that era is the fact that like they don't have much hygiene compared to how much we have right now i know it's like it was probably fine for them back then but you know it's crazy people would take baths literally consecutively in the same bath water so it would go like this it would go like this imagine your dad taking a shower first right and you know people people these days take a shower once every you know two months or so so first your dad takes a, sh a bath in the water and it's just stagnant water right and then after that guess what your mother takes a shower in that bath and then your older brother your older sister your other older brother and then it's time for little old you to step into that clean clean fresh water right well, that's just the grim realities, man. <laughs> I mean, we're so lucky, so lucky to be living this time of um, this day and age where, you know, we have modern technology, uh, medicine, um, hygiene, stuff of that nature. And I'm not even sure what caused me to speak of this topic, but, you know, I, I like it. I kind of like it. So one thing that I also think that we're quite lucky for, and maybe we even take it for granted, is the technology around us nowadays. Um... Me personally, I'm always on my phone, on my iPhone, you know, I'm looking up stuff, watching videos. Uh, for the most part, I even watch other gaming videos on my iPhone. And, you know, I do watch it once in a while on the desktop, but, you know, that doesn't really matter. But iPhones are so cool. There's smartphones nowadays, cell phones even. Just the prospect of cell phones. I mean, are you kidding me? 20 years back, 40 years back, people can't even imagine you sitting there and you know talking with someone halfway across the world through your little device right there you know you know sometimes it's cool just to sit back and just realize how much you're like blessed and one reason i think i'm blessed is living in this you know day and age because it's kind of weird it's kind of weird that you right now are watching this video you're watching another man play a video game on the internet you know for entertainment and that's kind of cool it's kind of cool to just think about and you know people wouldn't even like you ask people back day and age, like, what they like to do for fun. Oh, you know, I like watching gameplay commentaries on YouTube. People are like, what the fi- <laughs> There would be so many wrong things about that. And, you know, the coolest thing about that still is the fact that we're born now or we're living now compared to, you know, sometime in the past or in the future, I'm, I'm, I wanted to say. We're like, in the, f in the future... You don't know how things are going to be. It's going to be, uh, you know, there's robots going to be everywhere. Um, America, you know, the world's going to get lazier. Um, you know, obesity and stuff is going to go up. You know, there's no such thing as a miracle drug to, you know, just keep you away from obesity. You know, the only way you could get fit is exercise, healthy eating, stuff like that. So that's going to be a problem. And also another problem would be we're going to become so, like dependent on technology to fulfill our every little deeds um for example you know when was the last time you picked up an encyclopedia and actually flipped through the pages and the coolest thing about flipping through the pages is the fact that while you're on your search for whatever you're looking about let's say you're um researching how fast the scorpion's poison can kill 30 male penguins or something of that nature. And you know, while you're searching for that in a cyclopedia, which would be a really bizarre thing to search for, might I say, uh, you know, you come across these little things like, oh, the bones in my hands are called phalanges or uh, people can die from cancer. And you learn all this knowledge and it's kind of cool just to like reflect and think about things and, you know, just appreciate appreciate what you're doing right now appreciate everything 
And yeah, man, that's kind of just the topic for this commentary. Just want to like, I was just literally sitting here in my room and thinking about everything. And I don't know. I hope you guys enjoyed it. But let's talk about the gameplay a little bit. So right now, I'm one away, one kill away from getting this flawless free for all. And the sad part about it is I have barely any ammo and I waste all my ammo on this guy. So right now, I am done. I am smoked. I have nothing. So I'm so scared. I will not ruin this flawless gameplay. I will get a flawless 30 and 0 and free for all. And you know, that's pretty impressive considering, you know, I joined this game a little bit late. But you know, you could always win in Call of Duty. Call of Duty's a relatively easy game if you know what you're doing. But it's always so fun to watch and so fun to watch other people doing it, which is why it's one of the kings of FPSs on YouTube at least. In terms of competitive nature and whatnot, you know, we have Gears of War and Halo and all these other cool games. But you know what? I'm about to get the final kill and it's on this guy. Jump knife boom! <laughs> yeah, that that's sick right there. So hope you guys enjoy the gameplay and the commentary and next time you're going through your problems, going through life, uh, you know, just reflecting, bored out of your head, think about it. Think about the era that you live in where you still have freedom, you have immense freedom compared to back in the day where everybody had to follow the same religion and stuff like that. And, you know, you have bath water, you have clean water, food to eat, microwaves and stuff like that. It's also cool. So thank you guys for watching the video. Thank you so much, Phaser, once again. My name is Arrow Shot, and I am over and out.